What's up guys welcome back let me humbly accept all of your love and support that you are showing for this channel the viewership and the subscriptions are growing on daily basis we are coming up with the many uh, good stuff videos on AWS in a near future that's the very good reason for the people out there the folks out there who has not yet subscribed to the channel stay tuned to watch good stuffs AWS offers multiple services under AWS DevOps or Developer Tools category. AWS Code Build is one of them. Different sets of uh, DevOps tools are used in combination or conjunction to produce the result for CI/CD effectively. CI/CD is a continuous integration, continuous deployment, uh, which uh, has the different uh, segment of problems to address: the source code management, the build management, the deployment management, etc. And uh, we are going to use the AWS code commit for uh, source code management and AWS code build for uh, build management, which means to generate the artifact. Uh, that's what the whole uh, demo is all about. Disclaimer number one, we are going to make use of AWS code commit service for AWS code build demo today here. So if you are not familiar with AWS code commit, do not worry about it. Go check out the description. I am leaving two of the uh, YouTube link, uh, which will make you up to the speed on AWS Code Commit. Disclaimer number two: AWS Code Build is a very agnostic tool. It is not very specific to Java JVNet uh, Maven. This is just a project demo that I am going to do on the Java JVNet Maven. You can use your favorite technology, favorite programming language, the build tool that you use on a daily basis. Replace it here. For example, if you are using the React with the Node uh, npm build, you can just replace that here, and the whole services are going to be useful 100% in a way it can work for the Java developers. All right, let's get started with the demo. For the sake of simplicity, we'll divide entire demo into two different segments. Segment one will focus on setup of the code, build, and the build specifications. Segment two will more concentrate on how the build can be triggered using the build specs that we have defined and the codes that we have into the from the segment one. Click on a services here. Once you're logged into AWS Management Console, you can uh, search for or locate the developers tools and find it out the code commit. Alternatively, it's a search box that you can type in and then get it. So click on uh, code commit uh, to uh, land up uh, to the code commit uh, dashboard. Once you're there, you can click on the create repository, give some good name. I'm going to use uh, the code school and then you can click on create. Uh, you will see the repository created success message and down uh, at the bottom, you will find the create file. Uh, we are just going to add a first file into the repository so that we see the branch created and I'm going to just add uh, some random text here. Uh, give a name to the file you can give as a readme.md. Uh, I'm adding the author and uh, I'm just going to add uh, some details about the author and click uh, commit changes. So once so far followed, you should be able to successfully see that uh, the repository created with uh, the first file added into it. All right, so uh, click on the clone URL and uh, click on clone SSH to copy the clone SSH URL. Uh, we are going to take this uh, repository into the local. So right click start the git bash to the folder where you want to uh, clone this project uh, i'm using the git bash client but you can use any of other flavor of uh, git uh, client and it will work seamlessly same same way uh, once started uh, this should look like this and uh, i'll say git clone and give url hit enter and it should start uh, checking out the project from the uh, remote repository to my local. So it will create a repository in a local, uh, clone it, uh, make a same copy of whatever currently it looks like in an AWS code commit. Uh, first time it's going to take a little bit more. Uh, 
but uh, after that uh, it should uh, subsequent uh, operation should be faster so if you verify by uh, typing ls command you will see the new folder created and uh, we can just go inside this folder this is the repository folder and uh, if we see this is the original file that we have committed inside the repository we can verify the content and that's the same so let's clear the screen i'm going to uh, increase the size of the fonts screens so this is going to be more visible we need to create a certain structure to add the code uh, so we are going to create a folder mkdir minus p s r c slash uh, main slash java so we need a, a java folder where we'll add the java code we also require a folder for test cases so we are going to call it as a src uh, test java so these are the two folders we need uh, we can verify that ls src main and then uh, we can see that src is a typo src we will see the java folder created and same for the test uh, so so far what structure we have done uh, in explorer we can verify uh, we have src inside the src we have uh, two more folders the main and java main and sorry the test so main folder has the java folder uh, where we are going to add the uh, source code and uh, test folder will have the uh, test cases so let's do it uh, over the command prompt here uh, firstly we'll clear the screen all right let's create a java source code uh, i'm just going to say vi src slash main slash java slash the class name so message util dot java and i have saved the time uh, i'm just going to save the time by copy pasting uh, i'm not going to type entire of the things so i have already composed these things and i'm going to bring it up here and uh, this is what uh, our uh, message utils dot java class looks like uh, you can press escape and colon wq come out of this and verify if uh, we have the code is a c main slash java slash message utils and you will see the same uh, in fact the same class over here so let's clear the screen once again we, we are going to add the test uh, file here let's add the test file pi src test java java slash test message util dot java um we'll paste the source code which is already uh, prepared so here we have two of the test cases nothing uh, very exhaustive let's uh, save and come out and verify the same things i see test java slash test ss class this is the message class and uh, let's clear the screen this is the right time to add the build file to the project so the build file is going to be a uh, pom.xml of the maven uh, build so let's say vi uh, pom dot xml and the pom.xml is something you add at the project top level directory so vi pom and uh, i'm just going to save the time by doing the copy paste operations so uh, this is what our pom.xml file is going to look like so it will have the dependency it will have the build tool configurations dependency of uh, junit 4.x and that's all so let's escape out and uh, write quit from this place so if you want to verify again so you can just do this clear and uh, you're ready to go to the next uh, step let's add the build specification file now which will be used by the aws uh, code build uh, so we say vi we say build spec dot yml file this is going to be yml file and uh, i'll paste again from my local path 
this will have the different kind of phases steps so install is going to say that uh, to the code build uh, install the java correct version 11 uh, point x version uh, i'm not using the pre uh, build step uh, the build step is going to just uh, hit the MV mvn install in fact you can run the mvn install in your local as well right now and check your builds are working fine um, uh, you also see the post build step uh, which we are not having any serious uh, operation here but you can write some steps uh, this is just uh, writing some of the information uh, the date of the build completion and artifacts are going to get saved inside the folder target uh, with this name so that's all is there in the build spec file so just save it verify and uh, uh clear do ls one more time so by now you should have these four different uh, files and folders on the top level uh let's re-verify in our directory as well so if you see that you will have uh, pom and uh, build a spec file uh readme was something which we saw it in a very beginning and then src with uh, main and test classes so java main uh, source class you will see this uh, message util dot java class and uh, same thing in our test class you will see the uh, test message util class so th this is this is what uh, the summary of whatever we have done so far so once you are done uh, with the steps you should see all of this there if not then uh, please go back and re-verify if you have missed any of the steps let's also build the project locally to verify if everything is done properly so i'm just going to clear this to verify the build is working fine let's uh, uh, do the mvn build uh, in a local so that will be sure that uh, the build is working fine so the build has triggered and uh, you can see the test fires and two of the tests that I was pointing out uh, those two tests uh, methods uh, triggered and uh, it passed finally the build is successful let's quickly push the code to uh, the uh, repository we'll clear the screen we'll say less good status and we see the files here which are created and uh, we have not committed it uh, not a single time so let's say git add the one those are the right candidates I'm just going to copy paste the multiple array type so i'm going to uh, put entire src folder regardless of uh, what is there inside right so it's uh, basically the test files and the java source files and if we see git status so this is what we have added the target folder is something which we don't want to add because this is uh, just got created after the mvn install the uh, maven uh, build uh, uh, got completed right so we don't care about this uh, folder so let's say git commit minus m and say message util source code test files are added get push and we should see the files are uh, pushing to the repository once this operation is completed in fact we can go and check into the repository to make sure that files are updated to the remote repository in a aws code commit let's open the uh, console and see the repository what we have so this files should be coming and sitting up here so now we are going to go for uh, the next uh, segment yes so click on our services once again and in the developer tools segment you will find out uh, code build or alternative research once you are in our dashboard of uh, code build you can click on uh, create build project give a project name so i'm just going to give a project name as a build the code school project you can use some meaningful name you can come all the way down to the source uh, section and find it out the source provider so currently five different source providers are supported aws s3 
uh, code commit github bitbucket uh, github uh, enterprise version so uh, we are going to uh, use the aws code commit as we have already set up so we are using this and uh, then we can find it out the repository name our repository name is uh, the code school uh, we are going to build a master branch so you can select the branch from here that's the only branch we have in fact and the uh, rest of the things are good you can leave it um, you have to select the operating system so i'm just going to select the windows operating system but any other options will work as well uh, you can select one of the image base image for that operating system we can say windows base 2 latest one and rest of the thing you can uh, skip uh, completely uh, except for this so when you come all the way down in the build spec section you can find it out uh, build specification use build spec file or directly insert uh, commands here if you select this it will allow you to edit and put the steps uh, if you want to do it in a uh, that way for example ambien uh, test ambien install package such commands are uh, directly can be uh, given and it will execute but in our case we are using the yaml file of the uh, build uh, specification which already prepared and that's a part of uh, the project as well so we we just select this option and move on uh, rest of the things are good you can skip all of them and then go to the uh, button click build project click on it so if the attempt is uh, successful you should see the dashboard with uh, the console which will uh, give you the option to start uh, the build so you have created a process for the build and now you trigger the build the build can be triggered as many times you want it to uh, this is going to be automatic process uh, via aws pipeline so we'll see in a, another video uh, the aws pipeline where uh, everything that we are doing manually here uh, the clicking of the start build process this will be more of like uh, based on the change which is happening in the source control uh, in our case it's a uh, aws uh, code commit based on that the build can trigger so you can leave uh, all the uh, default settings and uh, click the start build you will see the build started message over here and uh, the logs will load here so you can follow the logs and find it out if uh, the build processes are fine click on tail log and you will find out the logs are loading for you once the build is completed you will see the build completed successfully message or build success message uh, the stage will be uh, post build succeeded and this is one of the phase of the build which is the final phase and artifacts are generated uh, you can find it out the artifact name somewhere here yep, yep so this is the artifact that is uh, generated inside the folder uh, target so this is the process of the build which is completed now that's all folks hope you have enjoyed this piece of work as well uh, give me the comments like share subscribe as much as you want i'm not going to stop you keep learning keep enjoying happy learning i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye